And this is about Alfa Nero and a strange email that you get if you inquire about bidding on this yacht. You get this message back. It says, this is a note from the government of Antigua below. It says, as of today, April 11th, 2023, the Motia Alfa Nero has been seized by the government of, government of Antigua. The vessel remains on the sanctions list of the United States of America. This sanction prohibits us from engaging in any auction or direct sale discussions with the vessel. So that's the end of the story, right? No. No. However, uh, it says, you may fo forward the following information to my attention. A letter of interest for the vessel, provisional bid, unofficial, uh, the name of the actual buyer, and this info will be recorded and form part of the record. And that's the end of the message. So they're saying it's not for sale, but if you want to buy it, send us your, your bid. And um, if it becomes available for sale, then we'll, uh, we'll get in touch. <laughs> so this yacht, which has a stern pool that converts into a heli deck or dance floor, that, uh, that's a feature that Alfa Nero has. So this is now being seized by the government of Antigua. Now in the local press, they're saying that it happened on Tuesday, uh, but an eyewitness told us that the military boarded the vessel on Saturday. So, so there's a bit of discrepancy on the date. We told you that on Saturday, the military was seen boarding the vessel, staying on board for about two hours and then leaving. However, in the local press, they're saying this, that the uh, officially the boat was seized on Tuesday. I don't think it really matters when it was now. Uh, the fact is that it has happened. Now, uh, the general manager of the Antigua Port Authority, Darwin Telemachy, he, uh, he is the guy who's responsible for actually officially seizing this boat. And he went down, according to local press, like I said, on Tuesday morning to the Antigua Yacht Club Marina. And he made a statement under the provisions of the Antigua Port Authority Amendment Act. Remember, they amended their constitution to allow them to seize this vessel. Uh, this vessel is now the property of the governments of Antigua and Barbuda. We came here first to recognize that fact with the master of the ship. And then he went on to say that the government is committed to settling all the outstanding bills and liabilities owed on the vessel, including outstanding salaries for the crew, the Antigua Yacht Club for fuel and mooring, along with a host of local suppliers, goods and services. So now the captain of the yacht will take his orders from the Antigua government. That is very interesting in itself. Now, I think this is good news for the crew. Now, officially in the news, they're saying that the crew haven't been paid for a year. I find that very unlikely. I don't think any crew member would stay on a boat for a year without pay. Um, I don't think they can have, anyone can afford to live a year without pay, but they certainly won't have been getting regular pay. So I think it's good news that they, they look, I mean, obviously when the boat is sold, they will get all the money they're owed. Plus all of the crew that work there after the, after the boat arrived in Antigua, all of those people who have left, they'll all get their back pay, hopefully. The uh, priority now is to have the vessel reflagged. Obviously, we also broke that news on the channel that the vessel was deregistered by the Cayman Islands last year, and the vessel has had no flag ever since. So what the plan to do is to give it an Antigua and Barbuda flag, reflag it, get the insurance, get all the paperwork in order, and then they're going to make an application to the US government to have it removed from the sanctions list. This is my hypothesis on it. That that's, explains that odd email that you get when you apply to you know when you inquire about buying the vessel like it's not for sale but you can bid i think that's what they're doing there and they, this is what they said they said well, we'll need certain documents and have already we've already requested these from the relevant authorities and once we get hold of these documents we will then give it an antigua and barbuda flag and that's from captain ranan bala of the ad oms which is the antigua and barbuda department of marine services so yeah, I think then the vessel will finally be um, sold. So we'll, anyway, we'll keep you updated with any developments. We talked about uh, Motiat Lana had been on the move, and we said that the vessel had recently renamed from Lana to Motiat Mar, M-A-R. We also uh, believe that the vessel might have been sold. And on the IMO database, it does, it does uh, have a new registered owner as of January.